Hey guys, this is Mr. Programmer56 back today with another video. Now this video is um, be for my AT&T Fusion 2 maybe help video. Usually I don't ask for help, usually I give help, and that's funny. But um, this is what I need help with. Now my AT&T Fusion 2, I tried to install a custom ROM, and I think I soft bricked it, and I need some help. I can still access, um, give me a sec. <laughs> I need the help of my other hand. Give me a sec. I can still uh, reach custom recovery mode, but uh, I I try to install different ROMs or even try to back up my s or try to restore my current my old ROM and it still doesn't work. So. Go to mods. These are all the mods that I have. All that are different um, ROMs I've tried and none of them's worked. Now let's just try this one. Now when I install the ROM, it'll install just fine. That's not the problem. Is when I um, go to boot for the first time, it never boots, and obviously that's a problem that I need to get fixed by one of you. Uh, happy people who love to help people <laughs> so I have an 8 gig SD card installed um, I have the back off because I'm tired of pulling it on and off pulling out the battery now I already cleared out the chachi cleared the hard RAM I, or, I mean the hard drive I cleared the SD card and put new ROMs on it I tried everything possible and nothing works so I'm kinda of frustrated and uh, see if any of you guys on the YouTubers YouTubes can help me because what will happen is what I mean by soft soft brick is that once this ROM is fully installed and you go to reset the phone it actually um, completely freezes the AT&T logo as if I'm in fast boot mode and I also can't access fast boot mode I know there's ways on computers of being able to get onto um, your my old ROM or my old stock um, ROM, but I'm unable to do it. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to um, pretty soon here. If uh, none of you can help me out, now I've had you, other people help me out one, once before, and they ended up getting my device working. But uh, yeah, oh, it looks like the ROM is fully installed. Um, you all saw that. Still should finished. So it's just complete takes time to reboot yeah it does not take a few minutes it takes more than 24 hours well plus that actually um, I've never actually successfully gotten a ROM to install and boot up so if you go here to root system now alright there's the symbol I get for ever they call it a boot loop boot loop I've tried other different methods that I've seen on YouTube like trying to go through fast boot which I can't launch fast boot um, and fix my custom recovery which is up here in my fast boot files I hold shift and if it would load up right there I open up a command window here. And I know the command codes, it's fast boot. Fast boot dot. Uh, I don't remember the other part, but um, I try, I plug it in, um, put it into fast boot mode, and I hit enter, and this is actually what it reads. Um, I know I didn't enter the real command. I just get that file, and even though the computer reacts when I actually plug it in, um, it doesn't actually give me a installing or anything like that, so I don't know what to say. So if I could get some help off of one of you guys, that'd be great. Um, I <laughs> kind of annoyed. I really wanted to use this phone with Saijin Mod. That's what I originally tried installing, but it never got to work. So now at this point, I don't care what ROM I use. I go back to stock. I don't really care. I just want to be able to use this device. I use it for YouTube. Uh, 
you know, some certain games that I can't uh, install on this phone due to memory issues, which I have a new video in the link below to go uh, fix that issue. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. I hope you guys liked the video. Oh, and also this is an LG Optimus, a three uh, full 1080p HD camera test. Uh, so um, if it looks really good to you in HD, like it actually focuses really well on some of the parts. You just have to give it a second to focus, but sometimes it doesn't focus that great. When you have better light, this thing focuses very, very well on the, what you wanted to focus on. So I can focus on the computer. It dims the light down here. And when I want to focus on the phone, it dims the light around. It makes my phone bright. So I like that. But uh, that's it. I hope you guys can help me, and thanks for watching.